Hello, welcome to your 30 minute yoga class. This is a flowy, fun one, and all you need is just yourself and your yoga mat. So draw your hands to your heart and just begin to find your breath, breathing in this seated posture, starting to expand all the way up towards your chest, your heart space, your lungs, and drawing your awareness inwardly towards yourself, away from all of the external sounds and distractions that might be around you in your environment, really just tuning your awareness inwards, taking your time with yourself to ground in this space and taking a big breath in, sweeping the arms up and above and then releasing them wide. Let's begin. So bring your hands into a bind, draw them up towards your forehead and push away. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, release your arms wide to the sides. We'll do that one twice more. Inhale, catch a bind, draw your palms up to the forehead and exhale, push away. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, take them wide. One more round. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, push away. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale, take your arms wide. Taking the right hand to the right side, left hand sweeps over and beyond, bending into that right elbow, opening up the left side and switching it up. Left hand finds the left side of your mat, right hand sweeps over and beyond and back to center. Swap it over, left hand sweeps over, right elbow bends, exhale. Inhale to center and switch left hand is grounded, the elbow bends, opening up the side seams. Draw back to center and then shoulder circle it out, circling backwards, continuing to breathe deeply in and out through your nose. You might even close your eyes down and then circling forwards. Catching a bind behind you, binding the fingertips, opening up the chest, the heart, rise up to your knees and hinge forward into a mini headstand and shoulder stretch. If this pose does not work, just feel free to do the shoulder bind seated. From here, flip over onto all fours and we're going to awaken with a big downward facing dog, folding your chest back through towards your thighs, pedaling out your feet. Taking the time to ease into your body and to ease into the rhythm of your own breath. Guiding your chest deeply back towards your legs, rising higher onto the tippy toes and then grounding the heels. Hugging in through the deep core muscles, breathe in, travel forward to your high plank position. Exhale, shift back to down dog. Inhale, travel forward, high plank, shoulders over the wrists, light on the tippy toes. Exhale, push back. Repeating like this, breathe in, ripple forward, high plank and chaturanga dandasana. Upward facing dog, toes tuck under, shoulder blades draw down. Exhale, downward facing dog, adho mukha svanasana. Allow your sit bones to lift high and sway or stir it out through your hips. Again, easing your body into this shape, meeting yourself however it is you've arrived. Walking, stepping or jumping to the top of your mat till you find your Uttanasana, forward fold. Breathe in, halfway lift, Ada Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. One more like that. Breathe in, halfway lift, look up. And exhale, fold. Catch your elbows, bend your knees, sway and stir things out here. Really Opening up the lower back region, allowing your shoulders, your face, your jaw to feel like jelly as you move like a tree blowing in the wind. Inhale, sweep your right hand high to the sky as the left hand grounds ahead of you on the mat, twisting through the center. Exhale, switch. The left hand lands, the right hand ascends high to the sky, twisting through the midline. Exhale, grounding that top hand back down to the mat, folding back into your Uttanasana forward fold and breathing in, ripple, peeling slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae up to stand, engaging your core as you do this. 
draw the shoulder blades back and down and we're going to come back for this bound movement with our hands. So on the next deep breath in, sweep your hands all the way up, let them draw down towards your belly, catching that bind in your hands. This time, draw your hands up to the forehead, exhale, push away, breathe in, reach your arms up above the head and exhale wide to the sides, twice more. Inhale, catch the bind, draw your hands up to the forehead. Exhale, push away. Breathe in, reach your hands up. And exhale to the sides. Feels so good. One more deep breath in. This time, take your feet wide to the wide edge of your mat. Catch this shoulder stretch behind you and hinge forward. So you've got a forward fold with your bound shoulders. Bend the knees and sway, stir through your hips side to side giving yourself the spaciousness and the ease to really work a little bit more fluidly and intuitively with the shape. Inhale, rise to stand. Big toes come to meet. Surya Namaskar A. Dive forward, exhale. Breathe in, look up, halfway lift. Exhale, palms to mat, walk step, jump, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog or cobra, your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Sit bones lift high, folding your chest through towards your thighs, pedaling out your feet or just grounding them firmly to the mat now. Deepening your breath, grounding the knees to the mat, cat cow, doming out your upper back as the chin tucks to the chest and the belly draws to the rib. Then drop your hips, gaze up towards the sky above. Exhale, dome your shoulders, chin to chest, belly to ribs. And inhale, drop your hips, shift back to child's pose and glide through from child's pose to your cobra stretch, striking cobra from child's pose. Inhale, glide on through to cobra. Exhale, push back into your child's pose and start to bring in some figure eight circles now, stirring a little bit more freely, more intuitively. Circling up into your shoulders and back down to your hips. Imagine this figure eight shape or an infinity symbol as you start to move clockwise, stirring up into the shoulder and wrist joints and anti-clockwise. There's no right or wrong way to move. Just allow yourself that space to flow. Shift back to child's pose. Walk your hands to the right side of your mat. Take a full breath in. And a long breath out. Walk your hands to the left side. Take a full breath in. A long breath out. Back to center. Return to downward facing dog. Folding your chest through to your thighs. Let those sit bones continue to ascend nice and high. Travel forward into your high plank. Light on the tippy toes. Back to down dog. Inhale, ripple forward, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deepening the breath. Bring your big toes to meet. Inhale, the right leg ascends high to the sky, three-legged dog. Bend the right knee, find your hip opener. We're flipping ourselves into wild thing. Flip that dog. Left toes turn out to the right. The glutes activate. And then from wild thing, we're going to just lower our bottom hip down to the mat. And then opening up. Lowering the hips. Inhale, opening up, thrusting your glutes high to the sky. One more. Inhale, lower. And flip back to downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Long breath out. The same right leg sweeps up and tiger curl it in to your Anjane Asana low lunge. Just step it through. Breathe in the hands sweep up, opening up through the hips and heart space. Taking the left hand above you, dangle the right hand beside you, opening up that left side seam. Big breath. Right hand sweeps back to meet it. And then we're moving back into this bind. So hands bind, draw the palms all the way up to the forehead and push away. Inhale, reach your arms up and release them down by your sides. Again, inhale, catch your bind, draw up towards the top of the head, push away on that exhale, breathe in, reach up and release. Keeping your hands bound, bring in this Kali Mudra. So your hands are like a gun Gaze forward, hinge from your hips and fly away from this 
crescent lunge to your warrior three. Reach your arms ahead, deep breath in and exhale, wade yourself back. Flying into warrior two, bend that front knee, gaze over the index pointer, drop deep into your hips, lengthen out the front leg and then bend. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, bend. Holding your gaze over your index pointer. Inhale, lengthen the front leg, going for trikonasana, triangle. Start to pivot from the hip line, maintaining this length through the torso, hugging that right glute into the hip line and send the right palm inside the right foot as you gaze up to your top hand above you. Begin to activate all of the muscles in your back body to feel this opening in your chest and your heart space. Breathe in, bend the front knee, return back to your warrior two, rotate the front right foot and find your wide legged fold. Hands to your center, inhale, back up into this bind. Exhale, push away. Inhale, reach up and exhale, take your arms wide. Let's do that again. Breathe in, hands bind, draw up. Exhale, push away. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, go wide. One more. Inhale, catch the bind, push away. Breathe in, reach up and exhale, release wide. Catch your bind behind you, hinge forward from the hips. Option to micro bend the knees. You're going for this full wide legged fold now. Let your shoulders open up. Gravity is taking you forward. You're grounded through both heels and toes, deepening the breath, perhaps just stirring side to side, bending one knee a little as the opposite leg lengthens out, bending the opposite knee a little as the opposite leg lengthens out. Release your hands. Inhale, rise, elevate your chest, hands to hips, micro bend the knees and rise back to stand. Pivot the right foot to the front of the mat and we're stepping into this train track stance. So feet hip distance apart, hands ascend above us. Hinge from your pelvis, keeping the torso elongated, hugging in through the core and then take the left hand, if you can, outside the right foot or just inside like I've done here as the right hand sweeps up high to the sky. So you're focusing on keeping a straight leg while twisting through the center, gazing up above you. The right hand might even wrap around your waistline here, continuing to twist from your core. Bend the front knee, right hand comes down inside the foot and then you're in your lizard low lunge briefly. From here, you're going to rotate the left toes behind you wide to the left side of the mat. Your feet kind of have a warrior two stance going on. Then start to take your right hand under and see if you can catch that back left leg behind you and feel this twisting stretch through the midline of your body. Release, wrap the right leg back, chaturanga, up dog or cobra, and exhale, press back to downward facing dog. We'll work through that on our second side. Deep breath in, stirring it out through your hips. Take a moment, dance it out if you want to. Inhale, big toes come to meet as the left leg sweeps high. Your hips are level, your abs are engaged. Exhale, bend the left knee. You've got this hip opener and we're about to flip it for wild thing. Activate your hips, thrusting those glutes high. And then we're going to lower our hips. Inhale, lift the hips high. Exhale, lower our hips. Inhale, thrusting high. One more, lowering. Inhale, rise back up and flip back to down dog. Left leg elevates high to the sky. You're going to breathe in. Sorry, I just got confused about the legs, but it's your left leg elevating high to the sky. And then you're going to tiger curl this left knee in, step it through, Anjane Asana. Sweep both hands up to the sky, find that back bend and a hip opener. Coming back for this bind, hands to the center, release your left hand, right hand sweeps all the way over and beyond, opening up the side seam. And now we go for the bind, hands down at your belly, breathe in, draw them up, exhale, push away. Inhale, reach up and exhale, rising that back knee off the mat. Hinge forward from your hip line, create a Kali Mudra like a gun. Start to bend into the front knee. If you fall, just do your best like I have. Lifting the right leg up off the mat, keeping your hips level and your abs engaged. Focus on one point below you and wade your arms back. Inhale, reach your arms ahead. Bend the front knee, ground the back foot, step your way into warrior two. 
Inhale, lengthen the front leg. Exhale, bend. Holding your stance, drawing your torso away from the from the front of the room. Reverse your warrior, come back to warrior two. Inhale, reverse the warrior and come back to warrior two. Inhale, now lengthen the front leg, trikonasana, set up your triangle pose. Starting with a straight leg, hinge from your hips like you're reaching for something at the front. Then slowly track the left hand down inside the foot. Activate the muscles in your back. Gaze up to the top hand. Maintain that straight leg. You're pulling that left hip bone into the center as your abs stay tight. You really want to focus on creating as much length and lift as you can. Breathe in, rise back to stand. Bend the front knee and lengthen. One more. Bend the front knee and lengthen. Pivot to the side. You've got your Prazerita Padottonasana, wide-legged fold, but we'll start with this little bind. Push the palms away. Inhale, reach them up and exhale, take them wide. Inhale, bind your hands, draw up. Exhale, push away. Inhale, reach up and exhale, go wide. Now, inhale, draw up. Exhale, push away. Inhale, reach up and exhale, go wide. Take your hands behind you. Open up your shoulders. Hinge forward from the hip line. Let gravity take you forward into that fold. Deep breaths. You can release your hands here if you like and are able and rise to a tripod headstand if it's in your practice. Otherwise, just stay in your wide-legged fold. You do not need to go here if you're not feeling it. Stay with your breath. Keep focusing your mind. If you did take the tripod, slowly come out in your time by taking the legs wide and slowly grounding your feet back to the mat. Hands will return to hips, everyone, and we're rising to stand. Pivot your left foot front of the mat. Train track feet. So feet a hip distance apart here. You can widen the stance to make this harder. Hands elevate, hinge from your pelvis or your hip line, and then slowly you're taking the right hand outside the left foot as left hand finds the left hip. You can stay here and work that twist through the center or sweep the left hand high to the sky and focus on gazing up as you engage those core muscles. Releasing the hands, bring them back inside the front foot. Find your lizard low lunge for a moment. You might even get a little deeper if you can. Then rotate the back foot out wide towards the side of the room. So the right foot rotates to right edge. Thread the left hand under and through to catch the outside seam of the right leg. Unbend the front leg and feel the twist through your center. Both hands then just release, line back up inside the, the foot. Step the foot back, take chaturanga to up dog and exhale back to downward facing dog. Deep breath, let your sit bones lift high, stir it out once again. Slow everything down, your mind, your thoughts, anything heavy you're carrying, let it empty out with those breaths out. Travel forward into your high plank, hover the right leg, now this one's hard, tiger curl it in and hold for five, four, three, two, send the leg long, take a single leg push up or chaturanga and then switch it up. Left leg hovers, draw the left knee to the nose, tiger curl it in, hold for five, four, three, two, single leg push up, then ground the left foot, hover the right foot, knee to nose, five, four, light on those tippy toes, three, shoulders forward of the wrist, two, extend, single leg chaturanga, ground that right foot, hover the left foot, last one, knee to nose, hold, five, light on those tippy toes, shoulders forward, last three, Two, extend, single leg chaturanga and back to down dog. That is tough. Big breaths. Ground your knees to the mat, opening up through your cat cow for a moment. Then lengthen your right arm, left leg long. Take the right arm wide as left leg opens wide. Back to center, two more. Right arm wide to the right, left leg wide to the left. Release, opposites, left arm, right leg extend. Left leg wide, right arm wide, alternate. Just moving from the hips and shoulders, stabilizing through the core. One more, opening out wide, opposing sides and ground. Find your child's pose. Deepen your breath. Let it all go. Glide on through to your belly. Press up to cobra, shoulder blades drawing down, lifting from the tip of the crown. Gaze over your right shoulder, then over your left and then grounding back down to the mat. 
Release your arms in line with the body. Take a big breath. Lift your chest, lift your arms, lift your legs. Hug the inner thighs together as the pinky toes spin down to the earth. Gaze straight down to your mat so you're not straining the neck. Take one more big breath and release. Pressing back now into your position on your all fours and then rising up onto your knees. So we're bringing in some back bends now. Starting with your hands sweeping all the way up. Find your bind, draw your palms down by your belly. Inhale, hands draw up. Exhale, push away. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, go wide. Twice more. Catch your bind. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale, catch your bind. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now your hands are going to find your lower back. Start to support your lower back and find this mini back bend. Your feet can be tucked under or flat to the mat. Deep breath in, long breath out. Tuck your chin to the chest first and then come out of the back bend. Sweep your right hand to an imaginary bar followed by the left. This time, take your right hand around and behind like you're catching the right heel. Draw the right hand back and then draw the left hand around to catch the left heel. Draw it back. Right hand wraps around, catches the heel. Left hand wraps around, catches the heel. If this is feeling okay in your body, you're going to bring in a full back bend soon where both hands catch both heels Imagine there's a magnet at your heart space. It is guiding you forward. If you choose to drop the head back, it is the first thing to come out. So when you're ready, take one more big breath in, chin to chest to exit. Then slowly in your time, take your right hand back to the imaginary bar, followed by the left hand. Nice work. Come down to a seated position, hands to heart. Just witness the effects that can be quite big on the body. Then take your right hand to the right side. Left hand sweeps over, side bend. Left hand to left side. Right hand sweeps over, side bend. One more each side. Allowing a bit of flowy movement there. Circling and stirring through your hips, back and forth. Pressing onto the hands. Sweep the left hand high. Thread it under and through and then sweep it high again. Exhale, thread it under. Inhale, sweep up. And this next one, you're going to thread it all the way under, shoulder to the middle of the mat. Sweep your right hand high to the sky and feel a twist through your upper body. Breathing in. And out. Release. Back onto all fours. Right hand sweeps up. Exhale, thread it under. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, thread under. One more. Inhale, reach up. This time, right shoulder, middle of the mat. Sweep the left hand high, stack the joints, feel the twist through the center, deep breath in. Long breath out, press back to center. Tuck your toes, find downward facing dog, travel from down dog to high plank. Down dog to high plank. Shoulders forward of the wrist, light on tippy toes. Taking one more round. Then lower your forearms to the mat, stepping into dolphin pose. Walk your feet in as close as you can get. So you're aiming to stack your shoulders over the elbows. Sweep the right leg high, followed by the left leg. Right leg elevates, followed by left. Taking one more round. When you're ready, ground back onto the knees. And we're coming back to this kneeling position. Sweep your hands up and above. Inhale, sweep them all the way up and exhale down to the sides. Inhale, reaching up, second back bend. Hands to the imaginary bar. Right hand finds the right heel, opening up through the chest. Left hand finds left heel. Magnetize yourself through the heart. Drop the neck back if you feel comfortable, but remember that will be the first thing to come out of this back bend. Stay with your breath. Deep breath in, long breath out. Deep breath in. Long breath out, chin to chest, right hand to the bar, followed by left, hands to your heart, drop back to this kneeling position, Sesa stretch or Virasana. And then sweep your right leg high, catch the right foot with both hands, allow the left knee to stay bent and just find a hamstring stretch. 
Then catching the knee with your right elbow and catching the foot with the left elbow, imagine you've got a little baby in your hand and you're just sort of releasing any tension through that right hip. And then you're going to send that right leg long, find Janyu Shivasana, both hands ascend, hinge forward from the hips and fold and stretch it out, leading from the hips and your heart space. Deep breaths for five if you can. Slow, elongated breaths. And we'll do the same thing second side. So left leg ascends, catching the left foot with both hands. The right foot can be bent like a butterfly sort of stretch. Then catching the foot with the right elbow, the knee with the left elbow. Imagine you've got a little baby and you're rocking and rolling it, but really you're just stirring into the hip here, all of the fascia and the tissue around the hip. Then lengthen your left leg long, finding your single-legged fold. Hands sweep up. Catch that Kali Mudra and hinge forward. Janyu Shirshasana, leading from the hips, opening up through the chest as you fold through so imagine an up dog if you can rather than hunching your shoulders you're leading from the heart rising out of the stretch then slowly begin to ease your way onto your back we're going to come for our um, shoulder stand actually so just start to rock and roll your legs all the way up catch your hand bind at your lumbar spine grounding your elbows to support yourself and then when you find this one you can do lots of funky fun things you can take a lotus pose if you're able to cross your legs over binding the feet into this shape or you can keep them extended above you you might even like to take your feet wide taking a few big breaths in your lotus stretch or any variation that you've chosen in your back bend here shoulder stand here lengthen your arms long see if you can catch the same bind we've been working with in our shoulders and then come through for plow pose so unbind or lengthen your legs all the way overhead they might touch the mat or earth beyond your feet might if not just let the legs hover 45 degrees wherever they do you might even want to bend your knees and find deaf men's pose allowing for this opening along the whole spinal column sweeping the right leg high left leg stays long in plow alternate left leg ascends right leg stays long one more each side right leg ascends left leg goes long and then you can bring in funky movements again i'm really just getting playful today with my practice this very much was my own practice so if these moves are not feeling right just trust what does feel good then we're going for back bends now. So you can take bridge pose or come for the full wheel. So your fingertips will come up near your ears. You start to bend your elbows and notice how I just grounded my head to the mat before I opened up. As you find your back bend, start to really breathe into your chest, your lungs, and imagine that magnet at your heart space. Of course, my cat Lulu has been very much involved in this practice. So Whatever helps you to awaken the energy of your heart, consider that. And then on the exhale, come slowly down. We're going to do one more back bend today. So again, you can start with bridge pose. So arms by your sides and slowly start to elevate the hips. You're welcome to work there or fingertips by the ears, bend your elbows and then start to really focus on opening up through the chest, pressing all the way back up when you're ready. If you need an option instead of your back bends, take a child's pose here instead. Sorry, take a happy baby what I'm doing here instead. Otherwise, you're working with this back bend shape that I'm about to go into. So bridge, happy baby or full back bend, your choice. Take five deep breaths when you're in it, breathing all the way up into the top of your lungs, emptying out. Deep breath in all the way up to the top of your lungs, emptying out. You've got three more slow breaths. Hold the stretch for as long as you can. Keep breathing into the heart. Keep opening things up. And if you can, you can ground the head to the mat, walk your hands back and go even deeper into the back bend. You might have your heels grounded or be up on the tippy toes. Take one more big breath and then slowly come out in your own time. Once you come out, you can bring your knees into the chest and give yourself a big cuddle, big circle and stir. And we are pretty much done, guys. So 
finding this compression, circling and staring through the lower back. And yep, lengthen your legs long, find your way into either butterfly or you can find your way into Shavasana and just enjoy this final few minutes of your practice, relaxation, witnessing all of the effects of that asana, that movement practice. And I'm hoping that you were able to follow along. That was kind of speedy. So I'll do my best to slow it down for next time. It's, it is what it is. But thanks for coming and feel free to make this shavasana longer if you need to. Just staying with that deeper, more restorative breath, letting go. When you're ready, roll over to one side, slowly start to find your way back up to a seated position, drawing your hands to prayer at your third eye center for hope and for dreams, to your lips for truth and for honesty, and to your heart for love and compassion. Exhale, bowing. Namaste.